Hello, and assuming some of you watching haven't seen any of the other videos, I'll give you a quick rundown of how things are so far. I started by painting this bit last weekend. That took me the best part of two hours. Uh, elsewhere on this YouTube channel you'll see it compressed down to three and a half minutes. Then this is in two halves. That had to be glued together. So that is now glued together. Then on top of that is another frame. That had to be glued together. And then finally today uh, actually no, since yesterday. Yesterday I glued these on top which will support the various parts of the console the various console panels and then I glued the whole lot on top so that's your base and that's your support system for the console panels and you can start to see the the shape of the console now this we're going to put on one side so I'll carefully on one side because today uh, we are dealing with the time rotor. Onwards to the time rotor. Uh, it's a tricky beast. We have a Perspex tube. This acts as the base of it but we'll put that on one side because that's something we're going to have to paint tomorrow. We also have this bag. This contains the sort of washing up bowl thingy. We have that. That's the base that will sit within that thing I just showed you. Now, according to what I read of the instructions, we also have rather ominously a piece of black paper and we also have these bits and pieces that uh, form part of the time rotor and I think finally we have a thin piece of sticky plastic that once we've got everything inside this will be cut to place and go on top to form the top. So that's that fun. Just remember the one thing I didn't do which was to get more glue out of the house. So there's about four of you watching now, please type comments in so I know who you all are. Oh, you keep popping off. I don't know why people come back and then drop off. These things really aren't going to get any more exciting. They are live. They're uncut. They're as it happens. So, I realised I've stuck everything on top of the instructions. So we have a, a whole page, or even two, I think it adds up to about two, two pages uh, of central time rotor construction. This um, worries me. Particularly as I've lost the tweezers, which I did carefully put in this box at one point, and now I don't know where the hell they've got to. Presumably have dropped somewhere on the floor. But I can't see them. They're certainly not shouting at me in any level of obviousness of their position. So 
so we'll struggle on without them for now. So, to start, and hopefully we have still got some glue left, this is our base for the thing. I'm going to position the cameras down a bit so you can actually see what I'm working on. So that's that one. And this one also has to be pointed down a bit. Hopefully they're both now pointing in the right way. So there's your base. And I will just basically read out what I'm being told because I'm a total uh, mystified person when it comes to this part, which is quite fiddly. Taking the fruit bowl, the fruit basket, glue this centrally to the base of the rotor, making sure that the centre hole lines up with the central hole in the rotor base. We would recommend that you paint both of these items separately first before continuing. Uh, so maybe I should hold fire and actually paint things and get on with the assembly tomorrow. Might make sense. So. I'm not sure what colour that is meant to be if it's sitting the fruit basket however we can paint because we know that's meant to be silver and I have a lovely fresh pot of paint so I can work on that realised I've gone to all the trouble of shooting an HD video of what will essentially be paint drying. I have two bottles of paint. This one it's definitely silver not grey. This one Oh, this one, despite having silver on the top, is clearly blue. So we can put that to one side. We don't need that today. So therefore, I'm assuming that the other one, which I've still got to get all this plastic off, is actually silver. So having consulted the instructions, I'm going to paint it. So uh, I think we're not actually assembling anything today. Unless I decide to start on the um to start on the thingies. I'm trying to find my previously used brush there. Which is a tad stiff. But with a bit of mixing. Well, it's a grey rather than a silver. It's practically a two part process painting it at all because it's got an inside and an outside to it. Also, the holes still need cutting open. Well, it's not a bad colour, now I actually see it on something. So, um, 
into an exciting world of waiting for paint to dry. We are at least dealing with something a lot smaller this time. Oh, that's sort of silvery. It's an odd beast of a task because some of it's assembly and other bits is pre preparation of the parts before they can even be assembled. I might yet be able to do both sides. It would save having to wait 24 hours for all this paint to dry if I could get both sides painted up now. And at least we can get on with assembling the time rotor tomorrow. Still fundamentally a grey rather than a silver, but I guess it'll have to do. So that. We can put on one side. And meanwhile, picking up bits of plastic. Also, we're not wanting to get the instructions covered in paint. Wish I'd held on to the jam jar that I did have full of white spirit. Cut out characters made out of slightly thick paper, you can stand up and get a lot of pop culture icons made of hand. Uh, not aware of them, Thomas. So. I'm basically about to give in to getting paints on things, I think. So. Now I'm painting stuff anyway, I may get on with painting stuff for the controls. So there are certain details that need picking out in this. Now I'm meant to pick out one area. I'm sure there's people now who are much better at model building than me. Absolutely shouting at the YouTube video they are watching. It's a very odd consistency anyway. These lines on here also have to be black. You can barely see where they are. 
I have a deep level of admiration see that panel is described as silver that panel there so we could get back to our silver brush the one that's intent on covering me with paint and that panel ah! do not fall over no that panel is silver we've basically got grey I've only got what I was told to order in terms of paint so if anything's wrong I only have my own instructions to blame and I ordered exactly what I was asked to order How people can pick out these tiny little detailed areas, I don't know. At least this is raised, which makes my job a little bit easier. So you can see that is now picked out. And I think we will leave our HD viewers there, because this is probably getting incredibly dull for you.